Hello YouTube, size 17 here, but you can just call me Travis, and uh, this is either going to be good or a disaster. So let's just, uh, let's get this. Uh, in the background we are listening to uh, Shadows of War by Loudness. Uh, if you're not familiar with Loudness, they are an awesome heavy metal band out of Japan. Um, this particular album, Shadows of War, I believe, uh, was released in Japan as Lightning Strikes. As, uh, I think they, uh, some of the tracks were different, uh, maybe the order was different, I think some of the spellings of the songs was different. Um, I also think maybe it has different track listings and, uh, stuff. But yeah, anyway, uh, Loudness are awesome, and, uh, yeah, they rule, and Akira Takasaki is a warlock and, like, shreds on the, on the guitar, and, uh, yeah. This album rips, uh, not my favorite by Loudness, which obviously, uh, maybe not obviously, but obviously to me, is, uh, Thunder in the East, uh, you know, top 25 all-time album for me. But regardless, this album, Shadows of War or Lightning Strikes, by a loudness is a is a freaking ripper, and if you like uh, heavy metal, uh, you will like this. This this track in particular shreds. All right, as you can see, this is a uh, as a review for uh, for the new Acid Witch album, Evil Sound Screamers. Uh, if you're not familiar with the, the band Acid Witch, they are a uh, a doom death band out of uh, Michigan, the United States. Um, this album uh, came out digitally only on Halloween. The, uh, the physical format comes out, I believe, December 29th. Uh, originally, it seemed like it was planned for 2018, which kind of had me disappointed. But I liked when the when the pre-order on Bandcamp went up, and I saw that I could buy the CD. Uh, and get the, uh, and have it, I think it was shipping out on December 29th, like, I, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. So that made me happy to see that it was a, uh, you know, a 2017, uh, release all the way around. And, uh, anyway, uh, since, uh, I'm not getting the, uh, the physical format till December, but I, I do have the digital tracks, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really want to show it, uh, in the, in the traditional collection update. Uh, I did, I did, I did, uh, briefly consider doing that anyway, but, uh, but I didn't, uh, I thought, you know, I really want to do, uh, I'd rather do a review, since I really feel like, uh, maybe obviously you're not, I really meant to ask Witch a lot, and, uh, I, I've, I've said numerous times that Witch Tannic Hallucinations is probably my all-time favorite album, at least at this point in my life, you know, probably over the last decade, probably, it probably honestly has been my favorite album. I love that album a lot, and, uh, you know, just, if, you know, if I really had to, if I really had to break it down to one single album that was my favorite, it's probably that one. And, uh, so, you know, Acid Witch is a very important, uh, band in my life, and, uh, I kind of felt like, uh, you know, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to do, a, to do a review of the new album. Uh, and again, mostly because, uh, mostly because, you know, like I said, I'm not getting the, uh, actual physical item until later in you know, in December, and I will do the, you know, include it in the collection update when I uh, when I get it. Uh, so yeah, I was I kind of was kind of self conscious about doing a review, uh, you know, mostly because I was you know concerned that uh, you know, you know, my first time doing one on on YouTube uh, was it going to be any good? So we'll find out. Uh, and so uh, also the idea came to me, as you can maybe see in the title, uh, I was drunk and I was like, you know. Maybe uh, I will do a drunk review. That, for whatever reason, that sounded like a good idea. So let's uh, let's do it. Uh, if you haven't seen the album art, I did uh, print a picture. Uh, so again, Acid Witch, Evil Sound Screamers. Uh, if you're not familiar with this band again, uh, Doom Death Band out of the Michigan, United States. Uh, for, for, for all I know, uh, it's two guys generally, uh, Slasher Dave and uh, Shagrat. Um... Uh, my particular uh, favorite album, which I've mentioned already, uh, which kind of hallucinations, uh, Lassie Pico, uh, who is the vocalist, and I think he also plays guitar, uh, for the band Hooded Menace, who has a new album coming out in 2018, which is awesome. Uh, anyway, uh, he was he did the vocals on the first album. Outside of that, um, I'm pretty sure Slasher Dave does, uh, you know, I want to try to... 
I have an idea of what's going on here. I think the I think in terms of vocals, I think Slasher Dave's doing doing a lot of stuff. And I would also say that I think Slasher Dave was the main guitarist of the band up through uh, around 2010 when they released their second full-length album, Stoned, and also uh, they had an EP called uh, To Magic, Sex, and Gore. Uh, and then after, after that point, uh, which includes Spooky, uh, Midnight Movies, which is an EP of covers, uh, and then also this new album, I believe, I want to say that I think Shagra has become the main guitarist, and this is why I believe that. I think that if you take a look at the album, um, uh, Your Worst Nightmare by the band Horrific, which is a solo project by Slasher Dave, uh, you can hear, uh, you can hear Slasher Dave's style on guitar, and it sounds, you know, comparatively similar to those 2010 earlier albums of Ask the Witch, uh, especially when it comes to the soloing style, uh, to me it becomes quite obvious. Uh, that's not to say, uh, you know, not to, to say that either period is better or not, which obviously I have an opinion on that, uh, just in terms of my, uh, whether not, not necessarily that which is better or worse, but just which I, which I, which I prefer in terms of what I like, but, uh, but I just thought it was that I think that's kind of the the period in which uh, the guitarist changes occurred. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's noteworthy or not. But I just wanted to feel like I wanted to bring it up before I, I uh, jumped into this review of uh, Evil Sound Screamers, which I can see right now. I'm almost at seven minutes now, and I haven't really even started talking about the album. But what do you expect? I'm drunk. All right, let's get into it. Uh, yeah, so we got ten tracks. I got, I got it up there, so I can kind of look at it. Uh, it's got ten tracks. Uh, a couple. Oh, uh, what is it? Three. Uh, one, two. Uh, three of which are kind of like uh, intro, interlude style tracks. Uh, I did think that was interesting because while there's three interlude tracks or intro tracks, like I said, you know, scare tape, uh, intro at your own risk and Nightmares and a Damaged Brain. All three of those are kind of like, they're, you know, they're not like the Doom Death songs on the album. They're like, like I said, intro, interlude tracks. Uh, but at the same time, uh, a number of songs, uh, Cheap Gore, Name Rouge, The Red Dwarf, uh, you know, you know, those songs also have uh, samples at the beginning of, of the tracks themselves. So it's interesting that they... They chose to have some uh, of those interlude kind of sample tracks um, stand alone versus uh, being included on the tracks themselves, which I'm not sure if there's a, a reason why that occurred. Uh, you know, if it's obvious, I haven't picked it out yet. But anyway, I thought, I thought that was interesting. Um, I did kind of think that, um, you know, the album in general, I think, what is that, 35 albums, 35 minutes? Uh, I kind of felt like the uh, while, while I always usually uh, enjoy uh, interlude sampling and all that kind of stuff, um, I kind of felt like because I couldn't understand why they decided to separate um, some of the interlude stuff uh, into its own tracks versus having it just at the beginning of the songs. I don't know. It kind of weirded me out and, tri- and it took me out of the album a, l- a little bit, but uh, you know that's maybe a minor gripe. Um, my other major gripe on the album is uh, the opening first uh, song track, uh, Mr. Beastle. Uh, it's probably one of my least favorite songs on the album. And, uh, you know, usually having a weaker song, you know, in my opinion, obviously, uh, to begin an album, to begin an album, uh, you know, kind of, you know, doesn't work favorably for you. Uh, I also, uh, one of the things that makes me not like that song, I, not, I don't dislike it, but makes me like it significantly less compared to the other songs. Um, is that there's a couple times when I really feel like uh, the kick drum playing is really sloppy, and I don't know. I kind of feel like I don't know. Maybe it should have been better. That that's a, maybe a minor gripe again. Uh, but, not, but let's get into uh, you know the more positive stuff, which is a lot of um, there's a lot of really cool riffing on this album. Uh, I really enjoy uh, the vocal work. While I do think that the uh, the vocal work by Lassie Pico on Witch Night Hallucinations is the best stuff. Um, you know, I think uh, whoever's doing the vocals, I assume Sasha Dave, but regardless of who it is, um, I do really enjoy 
uh, the vocals a lot, and this album is is done really well. Um, they really stepped up the uh, the keyboard work, uh, or you know, just kind of uh, ambience, ambience, and uh, just you know, whatever whatever you want to say. All that you know. Sometimes it's you know just me. You know, it's like a, a note or whatever. It's kind of a shrill note and just kind of like makes it sound all evil. Particularly on uh, I think it's cheap gore. Uh, part of the main verse, uh, it's like boom, 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 boom. like on the second half of the of a, a patritional like verse riff section. I don't know, I'm drunk. Whatever you want from me. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I, I really like a lot of these songs. Uh, I hate Halloween is great. Cheap gore is great. Uh, the you know the track that was released to us early, uh, Mutilation Mansion. I think that one's a really good track. Uh, Hard Rock Halloween. That's another one that I really like. Um, you know, I really think uh, that this album is really good. You know, I, I kept, it, in a vacuum, this album is awesome. Uh, if I compare it to the band's uh, discography in general, uh, you know. I hate, to, I hate to use the word disappointed, but it's kind of it's kind of the word that I have to use because the bar is so high. I mean, like I said, with Shank Hallucinations, probably my all-time favorite album. So, you know, my expectations for the potential awesomeness of an album is, like I said, really high. So, you know, disappointed, I guess, is, is, a, is, is a word that maybe is accurate. But like I said, in a vacuum, this album's great. I mean, what are we, eight, eight and a half out of ten, nine out of ten? I mean, this album's great. It's it's an awesome it's an awesome doom metal album. I think uh, you know some of the doom death aspect is maybe is a little bit toned down compared to some of the other releases, and uh, maybe just kind of like the I don't know because I feel like uh, the keyboard work is is such a is such a a bigger factor in terms of the overall sound of the album that uh I don't know maybe like uh just more traditional doom and stoner doom or something maybe in terms of their uh different sound because really you know none of their none of their none of the releases really sound the same they all kind of have kind of a, a slight different progression to each other um and and I think this album is no different you know I think they've they're always uh, doing something different. You're not really sure what you're going to get from Massive Witch. But uh, I think that, uh, you know, I think this is another good release. This is another good release. Uh, you know, I don't want to make it sound like it's not good because, you know, that because I compare it to, you know, the er- earlier earlier full albums with Shank Lewis Nations and Stoned and some of the other uh, EPs and stuff. Um, but this is, this is a good album. I think it's really... You know, I, I really like it a lot, and I think uh, if you like, if you've liked any of the material that Acid, Acid which has released in the past, uh, there's there's no reason why this won't tickle that same that same funny bone in you. Uh, no, it's a, a weird way to you'll like it. Um, yeah, you know my favorite tracks. Uh, I think I probably sort of said it. Uh, I hate Halloween, cheap gore, uh, hard rock Halloween, mutilation mansion. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm overall, overall very, very, very pleased with this album. Uh, I, you know, obviously I wish it was like an all-time favorite album, but you know, that's kind of a ridiculous, uh, expectation to have. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just overall, I'm overall glad, overall, uh, I'm very glad with the album, uh. It could be a total stinker, but it's not. It's, you know, it's just a very, very cool, uh, unique, you know, no one else really sounds like this. Uh, doom, doom metal band, you know, with some death elements and some whatever stoner stuff. Um, you know, like I said, the keyboards are ramped up, and uh, I think they've, they're done very well. I really feel like half of this video I'm, like, not even looking at, looking at you, so I apologize if that uh, is, is no good, but... Hey, that's how it goes. If you're watching this, uh, obviously this video has turned out well enough. <laughs> um, yeah, do I have anything else I want to say? Um, yeah, 
Nothing else. Uh, yeah, thank you know, uh, thanks to Aston Witch, you know, you guys, uh, I don't know if you'll see this video, you probably won't, but if you do happen to see this video, you know, thank you for releasing, uh, awesome, uh, awesome material, uh, obviously Witch Tank Leash Nation rules, uh, but just, you know, a cool discography with, uh, different sound and stuff, and, uh, Evil Sound Screamers, you know, while, while it doesn't meet my outrageous expectations of potentially ranking up there with my all-time favorite albums, uh, you guys released a kick-ass, kick-ass album, and, uh, you can't ask for much more than that. So, yeah, again, as of which, Evil Sound Screamers, if you like anything else by the band, ever, any of their releases, I highly recommend you at least pop over onto Bandcamp. I'll probably leave a, a link below right down here uh, where you can listen to this and uh, decide for yourself if uh, if you like it and uh, if you do uh, maybe put in a pre-order for it and also at the end of December when this comes out uh, you can get your physical copy uh, this will almost definitely uh, yeah not even almost just definitely will be in my top uh, 30 albums of the year. Uh, great album. Uh, this review, uh, I can see right now, we're almost uh, nearly 17 minutes into this. It's probably way too long, but it's kind of on you. You saw the, you saw the title. Uh, so again, Ask the Witch, Eva Sound Screamers, great album. Like I said, probably 8.5, 9 out of 10. But that's, uh, that's, you know, an opinion of a drunk guy. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, if you've listened to this album, what do you think of it? Otherwise, I, uh, listen to the solo in my character, Takasaki. Sorry, have a good night. Good day. Whatever. Have a good day. Ah.